Okay, so let's do now, let's prepare on-premise AD for Azure AD integration, okay? First of all, I need a very powerful tools. It's to be sure that my uh, architecture on-premise is ready. There is no, you know, special character that I must be sure that all is uh, uh, okay to do this synchronization. So I'm gonna go on my, I'm gonna browse here and I'm gonna go on uh, ID Fix, okay? So ID Fix is, uh, is a product to check my uh, Azure AD, uh, AD on premise, okay? And, um, and on GitHub, um, uh, what I will do is that I will, you know, just uh, uh, take my file and download it, okay? This is the thing that I'm gonna do first. And so I'm gonna go here and click one launch, and I'm gonna do run it here like this. So uh, you can launch the application using the click one installer, download and run the setup files to install ID fix on your uh, PC, on your server. So I'm gonna go here and here I'm gonna do open file. So here in the application install security warning, click on install here. And uh, in the ID fix privacy statement dialog, uh, review the, the disclaimer and then select okay. So I'm gonna run ID fix now to be sure that all my AD don't have any issue. So I'm gonna select, of course, query here. And, um, and if you have a warning, you do yes. And you can review uh, the list of objects from Active Directory and observe the error and the attribute uh, column. So in, in this case, the value of display name for console admin, so you can see that my um, uh, display name, so I'll put it like this, that's better, uh, is blank. Okay, so uh, here I have my value here. I have, you know, a lot of value here. And, uh, and this is a problem, okay, because I don't want that I don't want to have, you know, blank value, okay? This is quite important. So we can see, we can see that it's a display name uh, because if I go here, for example, on my here, I can see that there is no display name, okay? So there is no display name and this is an issue, okay? So I must replace it. And he tell me that uh, the best solution is to, um, uh, to, uh, so the recommendation that he gave me is to put Contoso admin on the display name, okay? Like this, it will not be empty. So in the action here, um, okay, uh, I can select edit here, okay? And, um, and then, I will, then I will select apply, okay? And, um, and in the apply pending, here, apply pending, I will say yes, okay? And it's complete now, okay? So that's good, he did the work. So now uh, he did, you know, the uh, the change for us. To be, to be sure, if you go here, you see that, yeah, that's good. He has, uh, you know, just uh, changed this attribute because it mustn't be, uh, so if I do a query here, if I do yes, there is no more issue, okay? So this, this is the uh, ID fix, okay? So ID fix is a very nice tool to be sure that you don't have, you know, special character and that there is no empty uh, value. This is not good for AD Connect. So in the next exercise, we will download, install, and, and, and configure AD Connect. So stay tuned.